Hey there, Ospreys. Welcome to another campus update with Inside Swoop. I'm Jessica Morales, here to bring you up to date on what's going on this week. On today's show, we will be covering world news. United Arab Emirates struggled to recover after heaviest reported rainfall hits the deserted nation. The UAE typically seeks, sees little rainfall due to the desert climate, with an average year seeing only 3.7 inches of total rainfall. However, on Tuesday, Dubai was soaked with 5.59 inches of rain in just 24 hours. This short period of intense rain overwhelmed the UAE's drainage system and caused floods to wreak havoc across Dubai. Authorities have stated on 21 people were killed due to storms. On Thursday, people waded through ankle-deep water to reach cars early abandoned. The UAE is not the only Middle Eastern country experiencing intense weather. More heavy rain and lightning brings the death count up to 63 in Pakistan. Flood waters have been sweeping across the country for the last four days with flash floods tearing through villages near the coastal cities of Wadar. Afghanistan is also experiencing major flooding due to the heavy rain with the reports estimating that over 2,000 homes have been damaged. The New York police dismantled a pro-Palestinian protest camp at Columbia, Columbia University, resulting in over 100 arrests, including Isra Hersey, daughter of U.S. Representative Ihan Omar. The demonstrators are facing suspension, suspensions from Columbia and Bernard College. They protested Israeli military actions and urged divestment from companies supporting, quote, Israeli apartheid. Mayor Eric Adams emphasized the importance of free speech while condemning disruptions to campus activities. Colombia's president, Nima Sefek, noted the protesters' violations and attempts to engage with them before police interventions. Email and voice messages were left with Omar's office asking for a comment. California will open a new state park in, decade, in a decade on June 12, located on the 1,600-acre Dos Rios tract near Ptolemy and San Joaquin Rivers. California's 281st park aims to provide hiking, picnicking, and future swimming as well as boating opportunities. Governor Gavin Newsom announced this during Earth Day with targets to reduce emissions in natural lands, including wildfire risk reduction and wetland restoration. Newsom highlighted the state's progress towards carbon neutrality by 2045. The plan involves measures like tree planting, grassland management, and wetland protection, aligning with California's multi-billion dollar efforts to combat climate change. We are coming up on the 10-year mark of the Flint water crisis, and the city is still not fully recovered. The children who experience the crisis are now teenagers and young adults, and they are actively using the traumatic experience to fuel the fire for change. Although the water has been declared safe to use, Flint is still struggling due to the water crisis. Their population has drastically fallen, causing poverty and high arson rates. Now, the young activists are working to give Flint's reputation back, implanting public awareness campaigns to the Flint Public Health Youth Academy. 16-year-old Simo Gutierrez is at the forefront, forefront of the initiative, testing the water samples from her neighborhood and speaking out on topics like gun violence and how racism affects public health. Now for some good news to top off this show. It was recently announced that Virginia law now allows colleges and universities to directly pay their athletes through NIL deals. The NIL is a vessel in which brands can use athletes' name, image, and likeness for their marketing and promotions. Now Virginia is allowing its state universities to compensate their athletes through brand deals, which is considered the first law of its kind since beginning of the rise of the NIL. Some schools are looking for alternative solutions instead of paying their athletes through their academic department, such as Virginia Tech, who told ESPN they might use marketing agency or use booster funds to pay athletes. Well, that's another edition of Inside Soup. Tune in next time for more campus information. I'm Jessica Morales. Thanks for joining me on Inside Soup.